I'm grown with sore branches and solid roots running freely through fertile soil. And my palms are scarred with deep gorges that tell stories like ancient African griots I will teach my son to cook. Because a chef's hands are holier than a priest's. For we hold your lives at the tips of our fingers. They dance precariously across the jagged edges of your teeth, surveying your health from countertop cliffs. A meal is a work of art. Recipes and cookbooks handed up through the big branches of a family tree to newly bloomed leaves with cautious and steady palms, a lifeline for the hungry. There is a hunger alive in our wombs, gnawing on the raw pink insides of our stomachs, a hunger to experience something new, something divine. A chef has the power to usher you into your dreams, give you prayer in a scent and faith in a taste. I found divinity in East Oakland, in my mother's kitchen. An island of solitude in a lost city of stripped souls in urban Jerusalem. Ja came on to me the first time I cooked. It was a disaster. A restless tsunami of peanut butter and Parmesan cheese plastered onto a burnt crisp hot dog bun with tofu and lettuce. A makeshift subway sandwich that resembled a shit smear on a New York City subway seat. Needless to say, it tasted like hot ass. But that moment of unchecked creativity, the consuming feeling of absolute freedom fed my hunger to experience. I found Jaws' face reflected on a cast iron skillet, searing my skin with skin popping vegetable oil, found it in a bite that glazed my grill, skimming my taste buds, staining my fingers with the sticky blood of sweet fruit, found a house of worship in a kitchen, a Bible in a cookbook, scripture in a recipe. I've learned to pray by holding hunger in my hands, inhaling a fragrant ecstasy, and cooking. Woo!